Oshkosh Beer Blog. I'm Adam from Dan Carlson Wines. And Adam, this week we're drinking beer La- from Lazy Monk. Lazy Monk Brewing Comp. Bre- is it brewery or brewing company? Brewing Wait, company. Bre- okay. Of Eau Claire. Brewing Wisconsin. LLC. Yeah. LLC, right. So this is a, a, a cool <coughs> little brewery. This, they started in 2011 in Eau Claire. Okay. They have a tap room out there. Sure. Um, and the the brewer, his name is, uh, let's see if I'll probably can slaughter this, Leos, Leos Frank, and his wife, Teresa, they run this brewery together. He's the brewer. She keeps everything from falling now, down around as a year. he's authentic bohemian, correct? He's, he's was born in what used to be Czechoslovakia, now okay. the Czech Republic. Okay. And he came over here, uh, didn't care for the beers he was getting, started home Shocker. brewing. Yeah. And uh, one thing led to another, and all of a sudden he's brewing these Czech-style beers um, in Eau Claire. And they're, uh, they're doing real well. They do like 500 barrels a year, small okay. brewery. Yeah. He's got this five-barrel system. That's what he brews then? Yeah, so what he does is... That's a lot of batches. He's got 15 <laughs> barrel fermenters. Though. Okay. So, so he brews three times three in times. a day to fill a fermenter. Okay. Which, I mean, that's a lot of work. Yeah. And uh, they obviously, they can their beer. They have this uh, hand-operated canning machine. It's, it's hum- just, Humble beginnings. Oh, it's, it's a that's very great, cool operation. That's great, though. fantastic. Yeah, it's really I, nice. I was there uh, in September, and they let me walk around in the brew house, and he's just... It's all bag malt. Sure. You know, and it's all... European malt he's using. I mean, they're really, they're doing it right, but it's truly handmade beer. Now, did I see that they're moving into a new location? Yeah, they're supposed to be in their new location in Eau Claire again um, by January, okay. early January. So is that, now I think before, were they in like a, um, an industrial park or something before? It's, it's a, I don't know what you'd call it. It's kind of, there's a lot going on in this place. Sure. And, and like, when you go there, I mean, we drove by it three times. Yeah, I couldn't find yeah, it, yeah. and I, I wanted to get in there. And finally, we just started so, walking around. Is it a little bit higher visi- visibility spot they're moving to? Yeah, or definitely. Is it, okay. Yeah, it's uh, and uh, I've seen some drawings of it. He's been posting them on their Facebook page, um, and they look great. Yeah, so let's crack into the beer. Okay, great. So we'll start with the um, pilsner. Okay. So, so this is a bohemian style. Pilsner. Okay. So that's with the the Czech zots. Yeah. Pops and these these bohemian style lagers or Czech style lagers however you whatever you want to call them they're a little different I mean they're not like German lagers in that they're it doesn't have that crisp dry <coughs> kind of minerally finish okay uh, they have more of a rounded malt flavor and one of the things that this style is kind of noted for is there's a little bit of diacetyl that buttery kind okay. of thing. it's not overwhelming but sure and the first time I had that beer it was in their tap room and it was like hitting all those notes, I just, I yeah. just thought it was wonderful. Now I know um, the uh, Czech Republic is well known for its quality of water, and there's a lot of, I think, spring-fed areas. Does that factor into brewing a beer like this at all? Or? I would think so. I mean, they in in uh, Czech Republic, that water is very soft. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what he's doing for water treatments. But typically, you yeah. manipulate the water you used, or or not. Well, a lot of times, what home brewers will do, or you know, professional brewers here, they'll use RO water. Okay. And then build it up using sure, whatever salt sure, you need, sure. but they'll keep that water soft for a mm-hmm. style like this. And like, I had when I had I, the first time I had this was in September, and we had been uh, to the Czech Republic for a couple of days the year earlier. Sure. And I don't know what I was expecting when I went in there and had those beers, but it just immediately that flavor of those yeah. beers there. I mean, he's doing a very dis- distinct spot. Yeah. On. I mean, this is a very nice beer. It's very crisp, uh, refreshing. But it does have that, it, it's got, it, you know, it's not like, it has more, I wouldn't say it's sweet. No. But the malt flavor is more full than you'd get in a, a more, German style More lager. pronounced, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's got just a very kind of grainy, kind of cereal character. And there's a, there's a long, slow, sort of bitter finish mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. Really nice. I mean, I know people don't get excited about Pilsner so much anymore. But man, I they love will. Them. When they're they, when they're good, they're, they they're they will. Bad. I mean, when you when you realize you're going to need to uh, be able to drink four or five beers instead of you know one or two ten percent yeah. beers, you know. I mean, we've 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 talked about being proponents of section beer a couple times, so I just love this. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's nice, definitely, and, and a little bit different out of the can, I think, than on draft. Yeah. Well, you had it on draft. Mm-hmm. I mean, how did? I think I had a pint of that. that yeah, pretty yeah. Quick. Yep. No, it, it did. It was it kind of just slightly different flavor. I think maybe the hops have shown through more uh, out of the can than on draft, and 
and, and there's a little bit of a sulfur note to this that yeah. you know from that lager yeast. That, I think you get that yeah. more out of the can than you do yep. out of draft. No, too. absolutely. But this is you could you know put down a four pack of these pretty pretty easily. I well, would say we got ten minutes. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> okay, so that's their um, that's nice Bohemian Pilsner. They yeah. also do a Bohemian Dark Lager yeah. uh, in that same vein. Uh, but then they they also do some non Czech styles. Yeah. So they uh, this is a Baltic Porter. Yep. And this is again, they're brewing this with lager yeast, which um, really, yeah. That I mean, is that, that typical for the? It is. For the style? I, I mean, it, some brewers will use ale yeast, some will use lager yeast. Not to get like totally, you know, <laughs> well bore, bore the shit out of you with it. <laughs> but like, so these breweries start these beers started off in England. They would ship them to the yeah. Baltics, and the English brewers would use uh, ale yeast. Yeah. Then up and around Finland and Poland and stuff, they started brewing it, and they started brewing it. That makes so sense. Kind of East, kind of more yeah. Eastern European. Yeah. Um, in addition to this, they make a, uh, a Scottish ale, and uh, what else do they make? They um, I, I, they were doing like a beer to guard. Yeah, they had a beer to guard. They he's he does a lot of one yeah. stuff. So yeah, yeah. Really stuff. And you had uh, well, you've got a keg of the red ale. Keg of the uh, Irish red, which we'll be putting Coming on up. tap uh, shortly. I'm sure that'll be delicious. I haven't had it yet, and it's it's uh, draft only, I believe. So. And, you just started getting these beers in November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very recently, thanks to uh, thanks to Lee, actually. It's all uh, selfish <laughs> on my part, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but really, I mean, uniformly very high quality. Yeah. So that is like a, a fairly pronounced sort of uh, date sort of thing. Yeah. You know, like a yeah. big, uh, rich malt, you know, dark fruit kind of malt aroma coming out of it. I get kind of like a dark chocolate as well. Chocolate too, yeah. Really rich, yeah. I mean, this guy is like a master at malt flavor. All his beers have this like very pronounced, you know. This is this is full malt so flavor. well made. It's it's almost incredible. I mean, this is this is on the level of quality. I think, or, or just in, in, as far as textbook, really well made beer goes. This tastes like a, a new Glarus beer. Something something to that. Yeah, that's great. Level, honestly, um, and loads of dark fruit. Oh man. That's terrific. I don't know. I mean, they don't list ABV on here, and I don't, I don't believe they put it on their website either. I mean, yeah. How strong would you guess that is the Baltic Porter? That's that's in the seven and a half to eight and a half nine range. Somewhere, yeah, I was somewhere I was thinking there. right it's, around seven seven to eight too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't get uh, it's not hot or anything like that. But no, it's not. But you get you don't get that depth. Generally, don't get that depth of flavor without a little bit. I'm higher not alcohol. very well fed right now, and. Uh, <laughs> Feel that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like two sips yeah. of it. It's, it's yeah. there. Wow, that's nice. What's cool, I mean, to me is like you see somebody doing this, uh, you know, on, on this scale and at this quality. That's, yeah, it's so difficult. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, I can really imagine. Great. No, that's that's great beer. Yeah, definitely. So. Uh, I suppose you'll be getting more of this stuff in from them, huh? Yep, I, I forget what he said, but I, I think probably we can expect monthly shipments, so this may everything you know cool. goes according to plan. Cool. We'll be we'll be in we're running running kinda of low right now, actually. We've just got the uh, the Baltic Quarter and the uh, Bohemian Pilsner left, but should restock shortly. So right. these are great beer. Yeah. Alright Adam. Hey, Pro. cheers Lee. Cheers. <laughs>